I'm going out for dinner today. I had a really bad sleep last night, if you couldn't tell by my physical appearance as well. Um, I went to sleep at like 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock even, and then woke up at 8, and then went back to sleep, and woke up at 10, and then now I'm up at, and it's 11 o'clock-ish, like half 11, um, and I need to get dressed, because I think we're leaving at like 12. But, I put this in my hair, because I don't really wash my hair every day, because my hair is very, like, thin. If you can't tell, like, I don't have very thick hair, so I'm trying not to wash it every day. And I bought this dry shampoo. Because I was really sick of paying the prices for that brand. I don't know, you know what I'm on about, like, the normal dry shampoo everyone uses? Because it's, like, £4 for a big bottle, and I go through it a lot. So this was, like, 99p or something. I'll just keep buying new ones. Slowly. I've literally just done everything off camera. <laughs> I've done my makeup, I've done my outfit. I'll show you my outfit. But I feel like I have just done everything the same. But also it's different because it's different things, different days, you know, different conversation. We're all good. But I'm wearing this wee white turtleneck from Primark that I showed yesterday. And then this wee skirt. I actually don't know where it's from, but I got it on Vinted. Um, it's just like a long black one. It's like really long. It's got this big slip down it. Quite cute. And then my wee black boots. Like I said, I still don't know what jacket I'm going to wear because I don't know whether I should stick to like the black and white, put on a black jacket, or I should put on like my shadow various one that I like. But like, I do not know if this just like won't go at all. Yeah, that looks a bit shit, but won't lie. The skirt also just does kind of, but yeah, I don't think this goes. I'll figure it out. In the meantime, however, I'll show you what I'm going to do with my hair. I don't, like, I'm going to curl it with straighteners, which I don't do a lot because it doesn't last in my hair. Yeah. Real quickly, I forgot to curl my eyelashes as well. This is the most, that's so dirty. The biggest mirror ever. I'm so scared of ripping my eyelashes out. Like, I don't know if this is a fear of anyone else's, but every time I use an eyelash curler, I contemplate my life because I think this is it. This is the day that they get chopped off. I don't have a lot going for me in the eyelash game, but I don't want to lose what I have because... However, what I will say is I don't consistently curl my eyelashes. Like, I don't do it all the time. I don't do it every day. I do it, like, once a week or something just so I don't strain them. Pull them out. I'm gonna take these wee clips out. I don't know if anyone else has this problem with these wee guys, but like, you didn't even see that. Yeah, look, every time I take them out, they get caught in the wee like hooks and pull my hair out again. My hair is already like falling out, but I have to get better at like not using heat on it. I don't use heat on it every day, um, as well. So I'm trying to. I used to do it every day, like I feel like when you're a teenager, or a teenager, like I'm still a teenager, but I mean like when you're like when you're like 14, you straighten your hair every day because you think that's what you need to do to win approval over everyone in school and trust me, you really don't because don't do it to your hair. I also dyed it a lot. Wait, I used these straighteners, I already showed these but they're the diva, they're my mum's, I stole them because she doesn't go out so right now, I also bought her straighteners for her birthday. So, you know, but I put them on the highest heat. I think this is the way you get the best curl. I've literally just sat and talked about how you don't want to kill your hair. And now I'm like, put the highest heat on to curl your hair. But that's just what keeps the curl. If you put it on low, it's just going to not do it. And then you need to keep going over it. And then you're literally just killing it as much. This can either be really satisfying or really not satisfying, maybe. Yeah, that, that wasn't sexy or satisfying. I, oh my God, that looks terrible. I'm going to quickly top it up with another wee bit of this. Under here, oh my god. Matt Healy vibes. Okay, I'll spray some of that in. The bottle's nearly done. I think I bought it two days ago. But, yeah. I'm going to use this big brush. That, again, looks atrocious. But it's the best brush ever. And that's why it looks like that. Because I use it all the time. And I'm not one of those people that pulls my hair out my brush. Because you really have to be stuck up. Or just clean, to be honest, <laughs> to pull your hair out your brush today. Also, that is not dandruff. I just have a really white hairline. 
and um, I've always had that. But anyway, I'm gonna part it and then, like this wee bit where you get the the sections. That bit looks a bit bigger. Do you know what? That's really good enough for me. And then I'm gonna just like clip the rest of this back. I had a little dandruff and then I'm literally sitting here like covered in hair. But it could just be like because this stuff. But also dandruff is normal so I'm gonna try these. I don't normally do this so this isn't like what I normally do. I just normally cuddle these bits like facing into my head so that they kind of sit with that like curtain bang effect. Even though I should probably just get them cut at this point because I want them but I'm too scared to commit to that big of a chop of the front of my hair because that's like a big part of your face is like the way your front of your hair sits. Anyway, shut up. I'm going to try these because every time I've used these it's never worked for me but I've always done it with like just my hair like this and then tried to do it and then when I take it out obviously it just kind of frizzes rather than do anything. However, I'm going to take the two bits. That may be completely uneven. That. We're not perfect, no one's perfect, but I'm going to just take it and I'm going to straighten it up towards my hair, like curl it even towards my head and just pull down, pull, pull, pull and hopefully, there we go, you like hold up, I look like a unicorn, yeah, I could have like scrunched it for a bit, I take the bottom of it and I'm going to kind of work it around the same way that the curl has formed so that it like stays and do you know what I'm gonna do that'll probably just stay there itself but I'm gonna clip it in with these just to give it a wee bit more support I can't even see that I'm working off of like this camera to do that and it's really oh, there yeah did that even that didn't even go around the thing okay so I'm like trying to stick it to my scalp and then Okay, got it. Now we're gonna do the rest of the whole thing because that is just boring and then sped up. Like no one wants to sit and watch that. So I'm gonna just tie like half of my head up. That's so uneven, like it's definitely not oh a perfect half. And then just use this you clip. This is like really hard. It doesn't like want to work with me. But yeah, I'm gonna just clip that up, keep it out of my face so that I can work in the bottom half. I don't have a lot of hair, right? So this probably isn't a necessary step, but yeah, I take like little bits just so it looks a lot fuller again because I have thinner hair and then I'm just going to do this one doing the same thing where I'm just like pulling it towards my face and down and then it should just yep create a wee this is working a lot better than it usually does for me which I'm kind of glad because I'm obviously filming myself so I don't want to look stupid like I don't know what I'm doing and then the other one I'm going to go wait I went towards myself so I'm going to go out, out. That bit of hair is going to be fried now that I'm just sat and held on for so long. Look at the steam. And then obviously that will just make it so it's like even and that you don't have to. So they combine together, do you know what I mean? Rather than like sit funny and all kind of congealed. But yeah, that looks stupid now, but see once it's all put together, you'll see. That is the hair. I have just finished it and sprayed a bunch of hairspray down it. I'm not going to touch it until I'm like ready to go maybe. Probably not. And then just brush it and then it should, or like put my fingers through it. I'll try and, oh I'm scared. I don't want to like take the curls out after I've literally just sat and done them. But this wee guy, I don't know if I should leave that in for longer. Nah, let's just take it out. I'm so impatient, like I'm the most impatient person you'll ever meet. This might pull it out if it does. I don't know what to do. Cause look, this one's just like tangling it. And then it's like I like strip up. No oh, fuck it. I actually don't care. Got to be Slay! I think I should also share this moment um, that I ripped my tights. Perfect start to my day. I have decided that since this inconvenience has dawned upon me, I'm going to just take the tights off. 
And that's what I did. So I'm going to put these wee socks on because I can't put it and then just put my boots back on because... Do you know what? I might freeze to death. But that was what was in the cards for me today, clearly, was that happening. I literally just flipped my boot onto my leg, like, crossed my legs. And it caught, it ripped. And I just knew it had happened before I'd looked. I wish I'd never looked. However, you couldn't really see a lot of my tights anyway, because how long my skirt is. The only issue is the slip, which kind of annoys me. I won't lie. The feeling of the cold kind of breezing through sometimes annoys me. On. Got them because I do tie them really tight because I like to feel like my shoes are like secure on my feet. I can't get up done up for a minute. You'll probably hear my dog barking because people are coming to the door that time of year. They start coming to the door and talking for ages. But uh, round two. How was that one easier? But this is my smaller foot. <sighs> I swear. Life tests me every day. I swear. Anyway, got the boot on, fab. Do you know what? Should I be a leg after I've just freshly tanned? It's not a problem. Kiki okay, came to say hi. Look at her wee jumper. <laughs> what does it say? Ho ho ho. <laughs> Slow. So we went to a panto, the sleeping single one, and Fires Road, but they couldn't record anything and I, I enjoyed myself so I didn't really want to have my phone out. I actually didn't have my phone out the entire time but they went for dinner and I think it's Shish Mahal it was called, it's an Indian restaurant, it was beautiful um, and I got some videos from that. <laughs> so that was my wee day out for Christmas dinner with my family. 